Hi parents, today is lesson 99. We're measuring with a ruler or the student's math folder. We're measuring to the nearest quarter inch. Here is the math folder and I'm going to use the inches side and I also might use a ruler. Okay, so on this one, I am going to measure it and put the line that they have exactly with this one. I figured out what happened. So it goes to five and that is one half. So that is five and one half. This is a half mark. So I'm gonna put one half on the ruler so you can see where that is. There's half here and there's half here. The next one, let's see what that goes to. That's also five and one half. Now let's go and measure these ones. So this one, it goes a little bit past the three, so there is a quarter. So there's a little short line right here and a longer one and another one. That's three, four parts, one, two, three, whoops, sorry, three, four. So that will be three and one quarter inches. I'm gonna try that with the blue folder and see what it looks like. It's kind of easier to see with the measurement on the blue folder. So we have one inch, two inches, three inches, and this is a quarter. Number two, we have a little bit longer one. So that will go from zero, you put the zero on it, not the, not the end right here, go right on the zero to start where the dot is. And then go all the way to here, so we know that it goes almost to four. So we have one quarter, one half, and three quarters. So we have three quarters right here. We have one half, one half, and then it goes to three quarters. This is three and three quarter inches. There's four quarters in an inch. I'm going to make this for you on the back side of this. So pretend like this is an inch, but it isn't. It's longer than that but pretend like this is one inch. So I know that if you wanna divide a quarter into four parts, you would have, there's the halfway, and then there's this part and this part. So there is one quarter right here, one quarter right here, one quarter right here, one quarter right here. There's four quarters, one, two, three, four. Remember we've talked about it takes four quarters to make a hole. Now let's go back over here. This number three is very small. This is half an inch and another part. These are not exactly right, so that's a little tricky when it's not exact. So I have one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. So let's put three quarters of an inch. It's not a whole inch yet. Remember that the two apostrophes, they mean inches. We are measuring inches. Let's go to number four. Number four. It starts with the zero, goes all the way down to three, and we're going to do three quarters. I'm sorry that these rulers don't match up so well, but anyway do our best. This is three and three quarters. So that you write, it went to three, it went past it, and it has three marks. So there's three and three quarter inches for that one. Number five. Number five, we go one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, and the first uh, tally mark right there, so that would be 
four and one quarter. So that's four and one quarter inches. Number six. Oops. Number six, it starts out, it's going to go to two and the first quarter. So we go to two and that would be one quarter. So we go two inches, that's two whole inches and one quarter inches. Last one, number seven. It goes to one inch and one and one quarter. Okay, great. And if you really need to, they say that they have a ruler in the bottom. I probably should have used that, but um, maybe that's a little bit more accurate. So thank you. This is lesson 99. It can be due today. If you're behind, it can be due tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Bye.